Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is HBK. How's it going? Everything okay with you? I hope all is good. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Life RPG Notion template to the latest version, which includes one of the most highly requested feature, the penalty system. Okay, so that means that now, if you do not complete your quest on time, you will get penalized. But don't worry, all the penalties are specified by you, so and it, they are customizable. So don't worry, okay? Uh, you can make it as uh, crazy as you want or as lenient as you want, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and on top of that, I'll be also introducing a reward system, meaning that if you manage to successfully complete your quest, you can reward yourself with whatever you want, okay? Now, before I show you the template itself, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to the people who made this video possible, to the people who commented, shared their feedback and opinions, and made this new feature possible. Okay. So, uh, first up is JBoller99. Once again, thank you, JBoller99, for your input, for your opinions and feedback. So, JBoller99 here says that kind of like a form of penalty quest from solo leveling. So, yeah, I will be doing just that. And then we have um, a Cohen over here saying that you should add penalty quests like a five minute wall sit and 500 plank, something like that. So yeah, you can add that kind of penalty to your own self if you want to in this next version, okay? And then earlier on, I got this one uh, a couple of hours ago is that, um, yeah, uh, Kazuma here said that adding a penalty system just like in the manga. So in Sono Leveling, they also do have the penalty system. So yeah, we're going to do something like that in the future as well, in the new feature. And also Brit Best Studios, saying the same thing, having a penalty system. So thank you, Kazuma. Thank you, Brit Bear, for all your uh, feedback, taking your time to uh, write down your uh, thoughts. I really appreciate them. Okay. So for those of you who have more thoughts and opinions, please, please do leave a comment, share with me. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll be hearing everything. So thank you so much again. Now then. Lots of thank you there. <laughs> uh, so let's head over to the actual template. Now I'm just going to show you a quick preview of how the new feature works. So before we actually do the uh, implementation, all right? So first up, you will notice down at the uh, left-hand side here is the Karma database. So I'll be calling the reward and penalty system Karma. So you can see the reward over here and also the penalty over here, okay? So you can specify your own reward and penalty by just clicking on the uh, new uh, selection over here. And then if you click on it, for example, if I click on donate uh, $50 to charity, you can, I can, you can add any links that you want inside this page for your reference. So that whenever you want to donate, you can just click on it and then head over to the site itself. Or if you have a certain workout that you want to do, you can add your own uh, workout over here. Uh, like this merch workout over here, okay? And then, for example, if you want to reward yourself by buying yourself a game, you can uh, list all your games, your wish list over here, then tick it, tick it off one by one once you have completed your quest, right? The same thing with drama and uh, bubble tea or anything that you want, all right? So the your imagination is uh, endless, okay? So the possibilities are endless, sorry. <laughs> now, um, how do we... Uh, add a karma or a reward or penalty to a quest. Okay, all you need to do is head over to the start a new quest over here and then click a button or you can create a quest from anywhere by clicking on new here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on absurd. And then I'm going to first thing first, add a player. So it's going to be Song Jing Wu and Cha Hei In. I'm going to add both of them there. And then the class is going to be uh, Globetrotter. And then we have the uh, usual difficulty and experience value. And now we have karma, okay? So this is, if you click on it, it'll be a list of all your rewards and penalties. So you can select one or multiple rewards or multiple penalties or one or multiple penalties, okay? Just like that, all right? Now then, whenever you have completed your quest, you can either uh, reward yourself according to this and then remove the penalties or if you uh, missed your quest, you can uh, re uh, remove your uh, reward and then just leave your penalties like that, okay? And next, another new property that we have in this quest page is the quest due property over here. 
So now it will show you uh, when your uh, quest is due. But this property depends on the date to complete property over here. Let me show you uh, how. So if you click on it, let's say that uh, today is the 9th of April. So if you click on uh, on the 11th, it's going to show you that your quest due is in uh, two days left. Okay. If you click on uh, on the 10th, it's going to sh uh, show you 15 hours left. And if you click on today, it's going to say it's due today. And if you click on, if you missed your uh, quest due date, you're going to say overdue. All right. So, um, okay. Now, let's say if you have uh, missed your due date, what you need to do is go ahead, head over to the status over here. So that's a new status called fill. So you will be creating a new status over here. So if you have filled your quest, just click on fill. And notice here that at the moment, uh, our players, Sang Jing Wu here uh, has a, uh, it's on level 85 and Cha Hei is on level 91 with total experience of 139 and 138, okay? So if you click on fill, you will notice that the experience will be deducted. Can you see that? So now uh, it goes down to level 76 and le level 81, and the experience point has been uh, deducted accordingly, okay? So whenever you uh, fill your quest, you will uh, lose experience points and level down, okay? So that is one of the perks of the new penalty system. <laughs> perks. And yeah, that is it actually. So it's pretty simple, practical, not complicated at all, I think, at least for me. So I hope you like this new update. And now I'm going to show you how to uh, implement this new feature uh, in your live RPG template, okay? All right, guys, now I have a clean uh, new template over here. And I went ahead and create and create a player and also a class, okay? So first things first, when you want to update your template, just uh, head over to the uh, empty section uh, at the class over here. So click on enter. Then I want you to click on slash command and then type in um, board, okay? So we want to create a new uh, board view, a new database board view, okay? So click on it, then uh, type in karma and then click a new database karma, okay? And then click on this open as full page icon over here, okay? Click on it and then add your icon. So my camera icon is the yin and yang, okay? And then um, click on a card. Then I want you to click on the add a new property over here and then type in select. So we're going to take the select property and this will be a tag, okay? So you can uh, name the uh, select property, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it attack, then change the icon to a tag icon over here. Then I'm gonna give a few tags. So namely penalty and also uh, reward, all right? I'm gonna change the color penalty to uh, purple and reward to yellow, all right? And I'm gonna delete all the other properties over here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna create a relational uh, database, okay, a, re a relational property. So I'm gonna type in relation, click on relation, then select your uh, database, okay? So make sure you you will want to uh, relate it to the quest database, okay? So make sure it is the uh, right database, okay? So it's going to be um, the, this one. Okay, so mine is version 3.0. So yours might be uh, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so click on show on quest over here, toggle it to turn it on and then add relation. All right, now once you have add that, uh, click on it and then show as and click on minimal. Okay, and now it's going, it's going to show you uh, at, uh, at the bottom here. All right, and then I want, to, I want you to right click on it and then uh, click on and rename it and then change the icon over here if you want to and then change it to the flag icon okay and, and then i want you to click on to add a new property create a new property uh, type in roll up and then click on selection over here select quest 
the property, leave it to name, and then calculate count all. All right. And now I'm going to rename this one to frequency. I'm going to change this one to a number icon over there. Okay. Now, frequency here means that all uh, the number of quests that you have um, uh, linked to this particular reward or uh, penalty. Okay. So now I'm just going to rename this reward to, let's say, Boba Team. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new penalty as well. So let's say um, 50 push ups. Select a tag, then do it as a penalty, all right? I'm going to delete this no tag over here. And then I want you to click on this three dots over here, icon over here. And then head over to properties and then um, toggle the frequency over there. All right. And then you can remain, rename your board view to whatever you want. I'm just going to rename it to all. And then that's it for your command database. So head over to your uh, Life RPG template again. And then click on any uh, quest page that you have. Or if you do not have a quest page, uh, click on the templates and then um, select wh uh, whichever template that you want. I'm going to go with a, an extreme template. Click on edit. And then uh, what I want you to do is click on add a property over here. So we're going to create a new uh, property. Um, quest view, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, type in formula because we're going to create a new formula and rename it to quest view. Okay, so you can add an icon if you want to. So I'm going to give it a timer icon. Like so and I'm going to bring it all the way up to over here. All right. Now you notice that we have not karma over here. Okay. So this is the uh, relation that we created earlier on. So the karma database is now related to the quest database. So I'm going to bring this karma up to the whatever you want. So I'm going to just bring it over here. Okay. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to rename it and change the uh, icon to yin and yang over here. And then once you click on the karma, you're going to realize you're going to see that all your uh, penalties and also uh, rewards will be listed over here. Okay. And you can click on this uh, three dots over here to customize your properties. So I'm going to show the tag over here. Okay. And the frequency too. All right. So um, another thing is the quest view over here. Okay. So this is a formula. Uh, you, once I have updated, the announcement page over here you can uh, head over to the announcement page section over here and then click on the uh, latest uh, um, page that i created so i haven't published it yet so uh, i'm gonna show you to you here uh, what is it called Carmel. okay so this is going to be the page all right so i want you to go over to this section over here new quest due property copy this uh, whole formula and then go back to your uh, quest page. It can be any quest page, right? Go back to your quest page and then click on the uh, empty field over here. And I want you to paste the formula and then remember to click on done. All right. So now uh, it's going to immediately show you the uh, um, result. Okay. So if you click on date to complete as on the nine, it's going to show you today something like that. All right. So we're going to clear that one out. Next, um, I want you to head over to the status property over here, and then edit the status property, and go uh, over to the complete section over here, click on plus, and then type in failure. So the the actual word is very, uh, oh, sorry, not failure, field. The actual word is important, okay? So remember to use field, and then click on enter, and then bring the field down over here, and then change the color to purple or whatever color you want, all right? So the color doesn't matter, but the wording is, all right? And then finally, I want you to click on this uh, two pro more properties over here to reveal the experience and property over here. I want you to uh, go back to the announcement page that I've shown you and go over to the bottom section here and copy the formula on this uh, code section over here. Then go back to the page, 
and then click on the experience and earn property over here and then replace this code with the uh, copied code earlier on okay and remember to click on done and this will uh, uh enables you to uh, deduct your experience value when you uh fail your quest okay so this is quite important too and that is it that is how you t uh, update your template okay so let's give it a quick run so i'm gonna create a new quest okay so this is going to be an absurd quest and then I'm gonna make it to a player make it to a class and karma is going to be i'm going to reward myself okay with a boba tea and today is going to be today and i'm going to mark it as done uh, just to uh, pop up the level okay so now the level is 35 and then level 36 for the player and class uh, respectively okay now i'm going to create a new um uh quest and this time um, i'm gonna link it once again class then karma penalty 50 push-ups uh, date complete so uh, i actually went over to you with this one then i'm gonna mark this um quest as fail you can see if i click on when i click on fail the uh, level and experience points will be uh deducted okay and there you go so the level the, the level depends on your uh, actual level okay so it might be uh the same it might be uh it, it might not go down or and or it might stay the same okay depending on the amount of experience that has been deducted okay but you can see obviously that the total experience point has been uh, deducted okay so yeah that is how you update your uh template oh yeah one more thing i want you to know is to okay so i'm gonna drag this one to the not starter again uh so you can click on the three dots over here and then go to properties and to show the uh quest due uh property okay so now you can see very clearly that your quest is due today so i'm gonna move it up to the uh, above the button over there okay so that is it you can do whatever you want uh, with anything else and you can see that uh, once i have linked a quest to a, a reward or penalty it's going to show up here so let's say if i link a, another karma a reward you can see that now there are two uh, quests related linked to the reward okay so that is how it works and that is it for this update it's pretty simple and easy to do and i hope you really like it okay so what do you think guys do you like the new penalty and reward system i hope you do and also thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it and thank you for your thoughts your opinions and feedbacks please please feel free to uh uh share whatever you you want in the comments below um i really read all of them and i appreciate your time uh, typing uh, your comment okay and also um if if you are okay or if you want to you can uh, share my uh shop or my uh page to your friends to to get the live rpg okay so uh you can click on the live rpg to get it but i really recommend you to join as a uh Shadow Guard, Shadow, Shadow Guard member, okay? So it's only a one-time payment and you can get access to every single template I've created and also future templates for free, okay? So it is, uh, I think, a good deal. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for everybody who has been supporting my work. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm really sorry for being so awkward and shy on the camera. This is my first time and, and so yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, have a good day, take care, bye-bye. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.